into an orchid show. So we are driving. <laughs> uh, and I make sure to film everything to show how the orchids are presented and what you can find in orchid shows, such as this one, especially if you live in the UK. Just to say that it's beautiful. This place is the Royal Horticultural a society, I think. Uh, it's like 40 minutes from where I live. And it's beautiful, 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 beautiful. Honestly. And I think the orchid show is there. super excited to visit Matras Foundation, their expo section, because they are also a, they work as a charity here in the UK, so they, they have like a research project as well. It's very, very beautiful, interesting, and uh, I recommend you guys to look for them on social media and on their website as well. They work helping i think some countries in latin america to conserve the natural habitats for some orchids but also they work with the first historical orchid hybrids here in the uk that were disappearing over the time and then how to keep these hybrids alive because it's also a way of conservating it and tell its history and keeping it keeping these hybrids alive so they have an amazing and beautiful collection. They are not sellers. They can't sell these plants yet. I think it's because of the amount that they have. They don't have enough amount, but it's the most amazing seedlings I've seen in my whole life, honestly. And that some of the fragrance there, oh my gosh, I can't even describe. I've never smelled some orchids like this in my life. For me, it was the most beautiful display. The seedlings in so many different colors and the uh, the shape and size of the flowers. Anyway, it's an amazing project as well. I super recommend you to look and look out for them. So I had uh, an opportunity to talk to them as well and to get to know more about the project. I think that was what I, I got. The best from this orchid show was the possibility of meeting these sellers, the ones that I always see online, but I don't know them in person, so I could see them. Uh, Lawrence and Hobbs were there, Bohan Nursery was also there, also MacBean's Orchids with all the beautiful flowers that you, that you are seeing now. So beautiful, huge Symbidians. I, I have only one Symbidium that skipped flowering this year for me. I don't have many of them because they are very large and I don't have a garden or anything of the sorts. But the flowers are truly amazing. Very, very large flower domes, uh, Symbidians, sorry. And they also smell the fragrance was amazing. Brilliant School had a beautiful display as well. There were other expos there. I don't remember exactly the name, but uh, if it is on the video, I'll definitely show the caption here. Here. So if you have the opportunity to go to an orchid show in your country, do it because uh, it also teaches you a lot and you will see some of the orchids that you only see online in person, especially now that we are coming out of the super hard and tough two years, last two years. So now that we are finally getting out and about, if you have the opportunity, visit this space as you will learn so much. You'll be able to see some of the orchids in person. So decide about what you really want. And there is an advantage there as well. If you want to buy something specifically, if you go to the show, you don't have to pay for the delivery because you'll be there and you get the plants. So it's very, very nice. It's an amazing experience.
hi guys so the idea of this video is to do more like a vlog so i've showed you already the orchid show so now i'm gonna show you the orchids that i acquired the ones that i decided to buy there it was only a few of them there were so many interesting uh, varieties there but i was very specific this time because i've done a big hole i don't know a few weeks ago so i said no this time i'm gonna keep it <laughs> low so i'll show you what i got one second i'm gonna show you i think one of the most interesting ones this one is can you imagine can you guess what it is let me leave the comment down below if you guess it uh, the right thing but this one is da -da -da -da, Iranges articulata. So why I decided to go with this one? Because I have tiny Iranges. Usually they are they come from the Africa continent. They produce a cascading of white blooms. I have never seen one of these plants in bloom in my life. I have lost two of them already. And the others that I have, I don't know if they will bloom at any time soon. So when I saw these ones are pretty mature species. Quite large compared to the other ones that I have and also I hope you can see I'm gonna come really really close this is a flower spike oh so cute and there is something else coming poking through here and I also think this is a, another flower spike oh my gosh I'm so happy with this one uh, I mean look it's beautiful the next one oh and by the way uh, I've spoken about spice exotic plants my last uh, haul they were there i had a very good experience talking to them uh to the owners of the nurseries they are really really nice people they were very helpful talked about a few plants there they helped me to choose the ones that i want to buy it gave me a really nice opportunity to talk to them in person so i got from them oh i got three plants with them i got these oranges i got i love the lumias because they live in a flat so small plants, they save space. So I got a Tolumnia as well. This one is a yellow Tolumnia. It's Tolumnia JK Farm Yellow. Gyrex, sorry, Farm Yellow. You can find them on their website as well. It produces a beautiful cluster of white blooms. So yeah, I'm so happy with my tiny plant. Look at that. It's cute, isn't it? And uh, the third one that I got from them. One second. So I also got this beautiful plant here. Can you see it? It's a Paphiopedalum Pinocchio. It's a hybrid, it's a famous hybrid. It's a sequential bloomer. We produce one flower after another flower. I almost gave, gave up getting it, but my husband was there and he was like, oh, please, beautiful. Anyway, I decided to go with it. All the plants are very healthy and nice and everything everything else. So these were the three plants that I got from them. And then I also got I also got one more plant only from another seller, but it's not exactly a seller. I'm gonna show you now. If you live in the UK, I super recommend you to look uh, at Wellington. Sorry, I, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it correctly. But anyway, I will leave. I will leave their websites. I will leave all of the sellers' websites linked down below. So they are a school, a, and they have a project that teaches students about conservation and how to basically pollinate orchids, and then how to conserve their habitats. So I think they have an amazing school here in the UK. It's so nice. I met some of the students. They were in the show. I talked to them. They told me that some of them are there for so many years and they enjoy the school so much. They do sell some plants sometimes on Etsy. I will leave the account here as well. The problem is they don't have a huge stock because it's a project, so it's not selling orchids. So their main aim is to teach these students and these students uh, will learn more about these orchids. Anyway, if you want to support the project, it's really nice, visit their Etsy store, visit their website. I've bought from them before online, but this time I had a chance to talk to them and uh, it's really nice. So I decided to get one plant. Is the Dendrobium nosmus calls uh, crossed with Parisii or Parisii. So I don't have an anosmus. I always looked for one. This one's a baby, as you can see. But it was very cheap. I don't know if it was seven pounds, maybe something like that. 
uh, seven British pounds. And it's one of my wish list orchids, the Anosmos, because apparently it smells amazingly. I'm really, really happy and also made me feel really good to, to be there, to be able to talk to them and to learn more about the project. And to conclude this video, I'm going to show you something very soon, very shortly. So the orchid show was at Royal Horticultural Society Garden. It was like 30, 40 minutes from where I live in London. I uh, was not so far from here. So before I left, someone at the spa told me that they have some vandas uh, on their garden center. And I said, oh, why not? I'm going to have a look in there. So if you also want to visit the, the garden, it's very nice. And they do sell different orchids. They, only, they don't sell only Phalaenopsis and uh, I saw some Oncidians there, I saw some Eutoniopsis as well. So I decided to buy something <laughs> in the garden center, that was the last plant. I bought a Vanda, an orange Vanda, because I do, I think I saw it for sale on the orchid show. But this one was without blooms and uh, it's a little bit stressed, so it was cheaper, it was half price. So I'm gonna show you my Vanda. That's the Vanda. It's not so big as the other ones. It's here because I just water it its roots. I need to pot it. It has basically the flower spike came from the cakey, it didn't come from the mother plant. I will show you the, the picture of the plants that I think it is on the description. Anyway, guys, that's that was my video for today. I hope you have enjoyed visiting an orchid show with me. If you have the experience, if you have the opportunity, sorry, Please go there and visit one in your area. I think you won't regret. It is amazing. I learned so much and it was really nice to see some of the people that I only see online. For example, Roger, he has a channel here on YouTube, Roger's Orchids, and he also created a uh, channel on Facebook. That's really nice, but people talk about orchids and share pictures and everything. He was there as well. I had an opportunity to talk to him. I think having this connection with people that love orchids, that sell orchids, that take after them, that also develop projects about conservation and about plants. That was the best experience that I had this weekend. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment down below, and I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.